Hey guys, how's everyone doing tonight? I wanted to make this video. I told you I was going through some birds and I wanted to make this video. I asked some questions about this white pair I have and I'm learning genetics. I have a question for guys that do stuff with genetics. Uh, I know some of you guys that watch work with things and so the white bird. The white bird is a mutation of color, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't understand that quite right, but this one here is a white bird that's, I'm guessing, almost mutated, right? She's got no feathers on her that's colored. She's got one eye that's still racing pigeon eye, I guess you could call it. The other eye, I don't know if you can see that, it's about three quarter bowl. Maybe, maybe a little more than three quarter bowl. There's a spot in there that, that you can still see the racing color in it. Uh, she's all white, pure, you know, mutated white. I have the, this is the hen. Big, big bird here. This is the cock bird. Now I know this is not considered white. This is considered grizzled. He's got these couple of little black feathers here and he's got a gray one right here on his wing. I think there's one more gray one somewhere on his belly maybe. I don't know. But uh, both of his eyes are racing pigeon eyes. He's a beautiful bird, and these two are a pair. These two, I call them Mr. and Mrs. because they, they've been to all my weddings this year. These two are phenomenal. They're rockets. So I, I bred some youngsters out of them, January, February, March. Those are gone. I got a couple now here of my own. So I got, I got to about round five. Here's my genetic question. I got to around five round, fifth round, and things started changing. They, they were producing white birds, maybe a flake of of uh color and then i got to about round five maybe it was round six honestly and they were flying doing weddings for me and i had a five gallon bucket in the flying loft and they made babies and i let it go like but, but it worked out well they produced a uh you know it's it's technically a grizzle so this is be out of round let's call it six round six she's got the tail a little dusting on the tail pretty nice she got a little dusting on the wings grizzle and the other bird surprised me the other bird and I, I don't have it here mr. hawk had another idea for that bird but these two you know this is like uh this is round six both eyes are bull Actually, looks like the one might be coming in color, but one, one eye, both eyes are bull. And then she had this red bar, full, solid, blooded red bar. Like I said, Mr. Hawk had another idea for that bird, so I don't have that bird here to show you. But like I said, those two were in my breeding, in my flying loft, and they were flying, and I thought one round was enough babies in there for them, so that was round six. Round seven, I, I, pumped under another pair and round eight I pumped under another pair so this one is from round seven got a lot more black on it dark face lots of grizzle on this one right tail wings back I don't know if you guys can see them lots of grizzle on this guy and he's not really out of the nest bowl yet. He's probably about five weeks. Um, his nest mate, pure white. See, she's a little wet still. They're not quite out of the nest. I just wanted to make this video because it's a genetic question. Um, so this is round seven. You know, and then obviously 10 days later, they laid another set of eggs. So this is round eight. This is what's coming up with round eight. 
Got a, a gray tail. Got a red chest. See it? Red chest, red head, like a like a Pakistani high flyer. About the best way to describe what this one's gonna look like. That was one of the two. And then boom, round eight. Back to that red bar. Coming out of those two white birds. Eight rounds. This is like I said. It, it, the the first four rounds were white, 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 white babies, and then the grizzle started, which I was okay with, and I'm still okay with this. But but this makes me think. Now here's my question: When they breed, round after round after round after round, I was told at some point. One of the guys told me they do a few rounds. That's why racing pigeon guys split their birds and repair them. That's one of the reasons why. Is because they don't... They, they would start producing babies that had genetics from their grandparents or great-grandparents. So I'm kind of curious if that's true or not, you know? Would that be... Would this be like a, a father or a grandfather to... You know, I'm sure it's coming from this big white one in the mail that's grizzle. You know, I, I and my, I'm asking the question because I like my whites to be, you know, good white racers. So they need like to be white with no grizzle, but right there at that edge. So my question is, you know, is this like a dilute? You know, maybe this is a dilute gene in here. I, I don't know. I don't know enough about that. Or, you know, if I were to take a red bar, put it with a white, it produces grizzle. Put that grizzle with a white, am I going to get more whites? Possibly. I know I might, but how long does it take? You know, how many generations back does this red bar, this red bar bird, he's, he's going to be a little light in color. How many how many babies and rounds and babies and rounds did it take to get this guy? That produces mostly white. So I don't know, that's my question. I, I'm just curious. I've been learning a little more about genetics, breeding round after round after round, and I've been breeding for about four and a half years now as well, so but I'm just curious. So if any of you guys can answer that question for me, you know, like, like do the, do the, so many rounds, if you breed a pigeon for four rounds is the fifth round, uh, genetics more of the grand, the father of the cockbird, you know, the grandparents to that baby, or, you know, six, seven, eight rounds, how many, you know, where, whereabouts does it start falling off and going, you know, you make a bird, it's not really what you're breeding anymore, you know? Because I, I kind of want to know if I should split that pair. You know, I don't really need the red ones. I don't need to put up the time to have a, a red baby and a grizzled baby born when I'm trying to get a white, you know. Whereas if I split them, I might get four or five rounds of good pure whites that are good pure whites. So, I don't know, help me out, guys. Maybe somebody can answer that. And uh, sorry my videos are long again, man. Thanks for watching. Bye.